before this video starts, this is the final video where you can enter the Supergirl DVD giveaway where you can choose any of the seasons. So let me know in the comments down below what Supergirl season do you want on DVD if you were to win. And to enter the competition to win the DVD, all you need to do is follow the details in the description below. Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl season 4. And finally we're back making another Supergirl video so there's been a real absence of news or really any theories that we could talk about as we head towards the back half of Supergirl season 4 apart from the stuff I've already covered so that's why you haven't been seeing as many Supergirl videos there's a bit more to do on the flash right now and you know some of the other shows but if you guys have any theories any predictions that you want me to make a video about please let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to get onto that because I do feel bad that there's like not many Supergirl videos recently if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year or next year as we head towards the new year so Supergirl season 4 episode 10 is going to be coming up sometime in late January and so we've got you know a couple of weeks still to go maybe three weeks or so I don't remember the exact date but Suspicious Minds is the episode we saw a trailer after the Elseworlds crossover did a trailer breakdown to that you guys can check that out and we talk about what's going to be happening potentially in the very near future in episode 10 and so in this video this is going to serve as my predictions and theory video as to going into the back half of the season so mainly to do with episode 10 but also talking a bit about what's to come in the entirety of the back half and what has been set up in this front part of the season in the fall and winter and now we head towards the final part of Supergirl season 4 so so far I really like Supergirl season 4 I think it's very very good not as good in my opinion as season 3 so far but you know it's getting up there I didn't like the first two episodes I know a lot of you really did like it but from then on I have really liked it and so I'm looking forward to episode 10 although the trailers really short we should expect some sort of teaser trailer an extended version in the next couple of weeks because they tend to actually release these actual like short trailers that are a bit longer than the promos they drop that are about you know 15 seconds long and that should be sometime in the next couple of weeks, maybe I would guess probably next week or sometime in the week after. I think that's a good time that we will probably get it because they do like to release these promos because, you know, there is a literal absence of news for about a month or so and we're in the midst of that. So they do like to, you know, shake up, remind people, oh yeah, Supergirl's coming back and they're going to do that with a trailer and most likely with a poster sometime very soon. And so let's move on to my other predictions. So my predictions in terms of story. So in the trailer for Suspicious Minds episode 10 of season 4, we get to see Kara and Supergirl obviously one and the same, struggling with her identity and it's about Kara's struggles in whether to give up her identity as Kara Danvers to the entire world to let them know she is Supergirl in order to settle for peace because people are riled up after what Agent Liberty said in the mid-season finale because so many people agree with some of the ideas that Agent Liberty is putting out there and the fact that Supergirl is just like a god on earth and what happens if she's out of check and so all these people are supporting him and this ended up making Supergirl getting fired from the DEO so she's out of the DEO in this episode and we got teased of this and how she was dismissed in the Elseworlds crossover when she was talking to Clark they talked about how she's you know going solo right now and she's not going to be part of the DEO but Clark convinced her that it's a good thing to not be you know bound by a government organization but also that can be scary for a lot of these people that are against Supergirl and so I don't think Supergirl is going to give up her identity because she knows as it says in the trailer it's going to be so impactful it will impact her family and the people closest to her because they will be targeted definitely most certainly and so I think she will come to the conclusion yes it's not a good idea to actually reveal her identity at all. So Alex in episode 10. So Alex will be working without Kara and I expect a lot of conflicts between her and Haley. Maybe the president's going to come back again. He's a prick, we all know that. And so I don't believe Alex is going to do too much. I know there is a Danvers sister scene. We're going to get that. Very excited to see that as per usual. 
Kara looks very upset. So I think she's going to sort of be comforting Ale Kara in this situation that she's in in episode 10. But apart from that, I don't think she's going to do too much in this episode, which is kind of sad because right now Alex doesn't really have a story and she's my favorite character bar Supergirl on the show and you know it was really great seeing you know the Samvers stuff in the past two seasons but now really all she is is just a puppet for the Supergirl writers to have you know come in save Supergirl or be like here's the plan da 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 you know she really has done nothing this season which is a big shame so now let's move on to talk about Agent Liberty so at the end of the mid-season finale, we saw that he was being put into prison, or into holding for now. And so, the question is, will he break out, or will he be released? I don't think he's going to be released or broken out in episode 10. I do believe he will get out of prison or holding by some time in the next few episodes, but I don't believe it's going to be rushed so quickly, and so, I think he will be plotting, and he will return, but will he return as the main villain. I have this gut feeling that he's not going to be. I have this feeling this is all to set up Red Daughter and for Red Daughter to come along and be the main villain to show the world really what a rogue superhero can do. A rogue person with all these powers and this alternate version of Supergirl, Red Daughter as it's been dubbed, is going to cause destruction and I think that is what Agent Liberty serves for. That is my main prediction. I don't think he's going to continue being the villain into the back half. I think he'll be around, but I think he's going to be sort of sidelined and Red Daughter is going to be put full thrust as the main villain to really show the worries of this society and of Agent Liberty and what they've been projecting this entire season because this would literally be the embodiment of their fears. And so now let's talk about Red Daughter as we've just been talking about. So. I do believe she's going to be the main villain, but when is she going to appear? In episode 10, I think it would be very smart if they did actually start to tease her more, because she's only popped up like three or four times, and they've been very, very minor things. It's just her training, her in Russia, and just doing these very minor things. And so I do believe we should get an extended version, maybe of what's going to happen, just a teaser of sorts in episode 10, but I don't know, I'm still kind of doubting that they're going to put her in so early considering they really didn't say anything to do with her in the mid-season finale which was kind of unexpected. I did expect them to tease Red Daughter in that episode but I do think she's going to play a massive role in the back half but I think it would be smart to include her in episode 10 but I wouldn't keep the hopes up for that. And so now moving on to Nia and her power struggle, will she become a hero? That is the main question. We know as it's been marketed, as it's been said by the actress, by the executive producers, by everyone behind the show, she is going to become a superhero. And we know in the comics there is Nura now, who is Dream Girl, and she possesses the same powers on the TV show, that being Nia. And so Brainiac confirmed Nura exists in the future, or at least a different version. And so, will she become a hero? And apparently they've seen the superhero suit, apparently it's really good, according to Nicole Maines. So I don't believe in episode 10 we're going to get that, but I think we're leading up to that and I think we're going to explore more of her power struggle in the next episode. So looking forward to that. Additionally, they've cast her sister and her mum. I didn't do a video on that because it's not massive news, but her sister is called Maeve and her mum is called Isabel. Her sister's played by Hannah James and her mum is going to be played by Kate Burton. And so I'm guessing they're going to be appearing maybe in a few episodes just in minor appearances and they're going to be supporting her most likely through her power struggle in becoming this hero. So look forward to that. And so additionally, there is a new character that has been cast that is Menagerie and I have no idea if I'm saying that right. But the person that has been cast to actually play this character, this villain from DC, is Jessica Miraz, and this character is an icon- and this character is a villain from DC and is a member of Manchester Black's Elite, which you may have seen from one of the Superman animated films, and so she is a jewel thief and she's pretty brutal. So I personally don't know much about this character. Apparently, according to these articles, she's an iconic DC villain. Although I've never heard of her individually, I know of Manchester Black and the Elite. The Elite are pretty big, like decently big, but they're not iconic. I don't know why people were reporting that. 
But yes, so she's going to be teaming up with Manchester Black. Manchester Black's obviously going to return. He's sort of like a new villain, maybe more of an anti-hero as of right now. But he's in prison, but most likely he's going to get out. I don't think it'll be in episode 10, but sometime in the next few episodes, as well as Agent Liberty. So now let's move on to talk about the last thing in this video. So soon after episode 10, we will be getting Win Shots Return, that being Jeremy Jordan. So look forward to that. I don't know exactly when, but he's set for a recurring status, so he's going to be in multiple episodes. And most and more recently, Amy Jackson supposedly confirmed she's returning as Imra Ardeen. So these people from the future are going to be coming back, so are we going to see the future? Are other Legionnaires going to come? That's very exciting. And will Brainiac 5 go away back to the future and we'll get Win instead? Hopefully so. I do like Brainiac, but Win is just so much better and I really want Jeremy to return properly. The last thing I want to talk about is Lex Luthor. We know he's coming, he's been cast, John Cryer is playing the character, and I do believe he's been cast as a recurring character, so maybe a few episodes, but that's going to be not too important, but that's going to link in to Lena and what's going on with her, but I don't know as to what's properly happening right now, but that is all I know, and I just thought I would add that in at the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, also check out my top 10 best films of the year from 2018 including Mary Poppins Returns, Aquaman, Suspiria and lots of other films, so that is up on my film channel, go check that out in the link in the description below, that would mean so much if you could support me there, so anyway guys I will see you guys later, goodbye. Strong, it doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shy.